So welcome everybody to this Microsoft 365 uh, feature uh, uh, demo series. And I'm here with Ankar, uh, Ankur, uh, probably is the right way of pronouncing that, Ankur Madan. Ankur, can you do a quick intro? Uh, who are you and what do you do for a living? Sure. Thank you so much, Vesa, for having me here. Uh, I'm Ankur Madan. I work in product for Viva Connection. Uh, I'm very excited with the new set of features that we are going to launch. Uh, and I just can't wait to let audience know that we are building a set of new two cards and there will be more new cards that will be coming up. Uh, but in this, uh, we will demo the next two cards that are going to come super soon. Yeah, so these are the new cards uh, for Viva Connection and for SharePoint. So it's the news card, right? Uh, that was the one, one of them. Uh, what does the news card is quite descriptive, but what does it do? Can you do a quick intro uh, before we actually say it live? Sure, absolutely. So we used to have something called a stock news card, but it used to show only the boosted news from the SharePoint. And we heard a lot of feedback saying, hey, what about, you know, we want to show not boosted news. Sometimes we want to show different uh, instances of the card. For example, I want to show one news card which has HR news, another news card which has product news, another which has leadership news. So we have incorporated all of that feedback and now we are calling this as news card and we will show it in a demo how you can create multiple instances, multiple sources out of this. Cool, really, really cool. And the other one, uh, which is, and both of these are out of the box, so they're not custom cards, they're, they're, they're in the box, uh, you can just start using them. And the, the other new one which we're rolling out uh, right now about this time, whenever you're watching the video, uh, whenever the audience is watching the video, but is people search card. Um, that's quite descriptive as well, but quick intros on that one. No, absolutely. So basically uh, you can search your colleagues within the organization and you can not just search, but you can chat with them, you can call them and you can uh, email them as well. So this is, you know, you can do everything just from the Viva Connection dashboard. Uh, you can still have this capabilities within Teams and multiple other places, but then how about having it in Viva Connection and do it in just one go? And when we demo it, you will understand the beauty of this card as well. Cool. Let's let's jump on the uh, live demos. Uh, it's always good to see things in practice. So let me flip the mode a bit and here we go. Uh, we can see your screen. Um, and Ankur, take it away. So let's see what we have. Thank you so much, Risa. So you can see that this is an empty dashboard and it's a test website we are starting with. So I'll go ahead and set up a dashboard. So you could see the dashboard is getting set up. There's no card yet. Uh, I'll quickly go ahead and hit on add a card. Uh, in the card catalog, I will quickly search for a news card and you could see this news card coming here. I'll just click on this and it gets added with default top news and boosted news as a source. Uh, but I can go ahead and edit the card and you could see the title is editable, the card size is editable, and of course you could have multiple news sources. Uh, so let me go ahead and uh, build multiple instances of this. So let's, uh, let's get one of the card, you know, from the selected sites. So it will give you all the sites that has the news and you can choose from the frequent sites, also from the recent site as well. Uh, so let's pick one from this one. And since it is calling about organization news, so let's name it Org News. And that's it. So you have one card like this. Uh, let's say you want to create another one. So you can go ahead, same drill essentially, add a card, hit on news card, hit on edit, uh, you will have the property pane. Uh, now in this, let's choose from this site, which essentially means the site on which the dashboard is on. Uh, so you could see some news coming in here. Uh, so uh, let's again go and do selected site, recent site. And let's use this one and let's call this as product news. Oh, so there's no news in this one. Uh, maybe let's go ahead and use this. And let's call this as Teams News. Team News. Yeah. And I go ahead 
and publish the dashboard. So as soon as I publish it, uh, so this will be the view that will now start showing for my end users as well. Whosoever has Viva connection within the organization, they could see these two cards. You could see the top, the first news headlines, the image of it. And if you hit on see all, you could see all the news that are going to come in that category. Similarly for the other one. Yeah. And the image is automatically captured, right? So it's capturing the image from the news article. Absolutely, that's correct. Cool. This is really cool. And I can see multiple, as, as you're demonstrating here, I can definitely see multiple instances. So having the top news or the organizational news, teams news, product news as a separate set of uh, listings. Yeah, definitely. Really, really cool. And yeah. completely and understandable default, feature. Correct. And by default, it will be just like the top news with boosted news coming in. So you don't yeah. have to change any configurations uh, if you want just top news card. Awesome. This is really, really cool and definitely needed uh, capability. Uh, as I said, customers have been requesting this uh, option and, and flexibility. And great work, by the way, on the on the uh, uh, configuration panel as well. So there's a lot of other options and advanced search capabilities and all of that there. So you can easily find the right site uh, from where you want to surface the information. Now, let's go to the other card then as well. So let's put the, the people search card here and how does that work? Absolutely, no, that's as amazing as this one. So similar to real, you always have to go to add a card catalog, uh, search for people this time, you will find this little icon, hit there and without any configuration, it works like a charm. So you could see find people card here, you can search by entering first name or last name. Uh, there is just a small bit of configuration if you want, like you want to change the size from large to medium, you can do that. And you can, of course, audience target this card similar to all other cards in Viva Connection, but uh, by default, no configuration required. Just go ahead and publish this for your end users to start using it. Yeah. And yeah. let me just uh, give you a demo by searching one of my colleagues, like Reza here. And I'll just do hit on the search, and you could see Vesa name coming here. And if I type in more category, more character over here, it should start coming up in the top results here as well. So I could select it from here or I could just hit on the search here and go to this panel. Uh, and if I want to connect with Vesa, I'll just tap here and I could see uh, Vesa's titles, Vesa's details. And there's this little icons, chat, email, and phone call, which I can use to directly uh, Touch base with Risa. So let me go ahead and showcase chat as one of the feature. I hit on that chat. It took me, it is taking me to the Teams chat app. As you can see, it has taken me to uh, directly to Risa. I can just send him a hi. And yeah, let's just start up the conversation, minimize this window, go back to the dashboard, and you could see this here. Yeah, and that's really this cool. Is there a, so there's no way for, you know, filtering a subset of people. So it's always the end and enterprise level, uh, address book. Correct. Correct. So we are using the graph API, which is, uh, so which is mostly all the enterprise. So it's, I think the settings is in the graph API. So whichever colleagues or whichever set you have added in the graph yeah. API. Which, okay. And that that's also, by the way, why it was showing the venue. Uh, because that's a closer colleague for you uh, from an organizational perspective uh, than I am. So, so that's why uh, yeah. that was a feature. Uh, so, which makes actually perfect sense when you when we actually clarify that. But that's actually really cool. And then it shows the recent information there. Now, if you click my name over there, uh, does it do the pop up? Uh, Absolutely, yeah. it does. And uh, of course, like similar to it, you can chat, call, email, and you can of course copy the email as well from here. And all of this works in a mobile as well, does it? All of this works in a mobile as well. And in mobile, you can have both the light mode as well as dark mode. Cool. 
this is really, really cool. And, and definitely a highly requested feature as well, because we always need to find the people in the easiest way possible. So if people are using the Viva connection, you can now just easily search directly in the Viva connection dashboard within a mobile. Um, makes perfect sense. Rather, than, And of course, it's the same list of people. Doesn't matter which where you search the people, it will be using the Microsoft Graph to access the enterprise uh, address book. No, absolutely. Cool. And yeah, and I would let, you know, uh, customers or anyone who's watching this video, if they have any feedback or any suggestion for the new set of cards, please feel free to reach out to us. We'll be happy to assist. Yeah, that's really, very really cool. Now, I, we did transition, uh, Ankur just telling her that we transitioned on side by side uh, view, but uh, any any other cards uh, or investments and uh, which is in a short term time frame? You, you talked about that we're building some other stuff, but we can't talk about those yet, right? Uh, we can't, and there are a lot of new out of the box cards coming in uh, so that you don't have to go out uh, per se and it is easy to configure and all of that. Uh, so yeah, for now we have news and people. Uh, but keep following the Microsoft roadmap, uh, inside news, uh, you will find the information there as well. Cool. Cool. Really awesome stuff. Thank you, Ankur, for stopping by and, and showcasing how those cards are working. Uh, really, really cool to see them live and great work on those two. And we'll have more coming definitely pretty soon. Thank you. Thank you so much Vesa, for having me here and letting me demo this beautiful piece of product to our users. Hope uh, they will like and enjoy it. Yes, and feedback, always welcome. We're building all of this stuff for customers and partners and all of that. So please, please, please let us know what you think. If there's any any ideas, feedback, everything else, we want to uh, hear about that. Uh, definitely welcome.